Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Reassembly with me, Lathrix, and the most painful looking missiles ever. Just look how much pain my poor ship is if my poor ship is in whilst firing them. I can do words. Wait, is that one of my cubes? Yay, the cube exists! Excellent, okay. So, when we left off with the mighty Beethrix Empire, we were slowly getting there. Our size is increasing now to the stage where, well, we're starting to kill things. We're actually starting to be victorious, but there's still a long way to go. So, right now, obviously, we've gone down the route of the Shard Launchers, but I'm not too certain about them. Another thing is, I've decided to do a, something a little bit different with these. As I'm now convinced that if even if they don't explode, damage is being essentially um, bounced from, from one to another, if that's not the case, I'm going to separate these guns and put them a little bit further out, possibly actually putting them... Ooh, that'd be cool. It'd be very weird how the laser would hit, though. Okay, let's try that. So yeah, I'm basically um, making it so my guns are in different places as opposed to always in the exact same place, you know, all next to each other huddled up in case they are partially explosive. Of course, this is quite bad because it will be... Oh wait, that's not the core. There's the core. So never mind, it was worse beforehand. So we're just making a bad situation not quite as bad then. But you see, this way we should be able to damage a whole range of areas, and that way be able to cut into things a little bit faster than before. Now I'm tempted to actually remove these shard launchers and go back to the lasers, but I think for now we'll leave it that as it is, and, and once we um, get some more resource we will increase the size of pretty much everything. Boom! I do love those shards. I don't know what it is about them, just everything, just everything about them makes me happy. They're very um, happy weapons, Valathrix. Oh look at that, look what it's done to the laser, that's awesome. <laughs> That's actually... I can make shapes. I should try and make a shape out of that before the end of the, of the um, season. Here we go. Here's some missiles for you. Boom! And laser. There you go. I must admit, I am kind of missing um, having long-range weaponry. It seems like, no matter what I do, I will always be the short-range guy at the moment. Wouldn't mind a basic turret right about now. Okay, you're dead. Shoot missiles everywhere, and let's just get this place before we get killed by something wandering around. Excellent! One more place is now ours. One more damage station repaired by the glorious and kind Beethrix Empire. Excuse me, sir. You are dead. Excellent. Little, a, a nice little twizzle there, just to indicate the victory. Fire the missiles everywhere! Well, not missiles. They're not actually missiles. I guess they are technically mines. They, that's what I say they are. And I guess since they aren't rocket propelled or anything, um, and they do stop still for a while, they are. But they're moving, so technically speaking, a missile is just something that moves when you fire it. And I don't even know. Oh, logical terms and technical terminology and stuff is never really something I'm very good at. There's a very long list called things I'm not very good at, I um, seem to realise. You die now. Ooh, look how, big, look how big and strong you is. Let's fire some lovely shards at you. Go in and... Laser! Oh, look at that. That was glorious. That was glorious. I really should learn the factory, I suppose, at this stage. Really should. Uh, so the next station is over here. Excellent. Hello, station. Would you like to be my friend? Hello, enemy. Would you like to die? A horrible and painful death, thank you very much. For dying a horrible painful death for me. Oh, 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 our front shield's gone and there's a random bit of lag there, but we are victorious nonetheless. Oh, you... You are stealing bugger. Grr. Another such, um... Angry noises. I like how it's basically built... Making the buildings in space, which I have no defense or anything. That, like, this is totally going to last once I leave it. Just definitely. Does it even actually have a factory? I don't actually know. Oh, uh, my uh, microphone got knocked around there. Hello, would you please buy my stuff? Apparently it doesn't, because it's not even taking any more of my, of my resource. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Burn! Also burn. I like how it melts certain enemies. Enemies of um, low armor just kind of cuts through like, like a nice knife through butter. Ah, a non um ooh, a non building, that's good. That, this this one should actually be able to defend itself. That is once it's actually fully loaded in. 
Excuse me, sir. You're dead. So are you. Okay, so we've got some more resource there. I do want that, but I just don't. There we go. A lovely chunk more ship resource for us. So, should we go back to the laser drone now, or should... Mm. I'm tempted to do the um, double shield thing, like I said I was going to. Oh, okay, so we're going to rely completely on shields. That makes us so much worse versus, like, physical and confrontation. But it does give us, give us loads of shields, which is kind of awesome, honestly, because, well, loads of shields. Did I mention that there's shields and lots of them? Because if I didn't, then I should have more. Should I put them? You know what? I think I'll delete this. Delete this. Which I love them. Put this... Ah, that won't go there because of this. I'm afraid you're going away. Ah, however, of course, these guns do actually have building segments on them, so we can always put them back. No, not face it. Look, there. No! It's a simple concept. Oh, of course, it's an asymmetrical, isn't it? Uh, this one goes first. Then this will probably be allowed back anyway, because rules are made to be broken. There we are. Fantastic. You know, I bet I still bet there is a way to make these things mirror. I just can't. F I've looked online, guys. I have looked online for a fair, like, a good half an hour plus, and I don't have infinite time at the moment because you know the whole moving thing. But um, I just can't find out how. And it's really annoying. Little first, does say one little first is on the back. I don't know why I do, but I kind of do. Yay! No, oh, how sweet. And that should give another angle for the gun as well. So we have like, a whole range of areas being hit. Um. Do I still want these shard launchers? Is that th or, do, or do I want to go with more lasers? I mean, lasers are cool. Lasers are very cool. Hmm. Da um, Damage-wise, these are more efficient. So I, I could have like, a whole line of them there. Oh, that would be kind of awesome. Oh, that would be kind of awesome, actually. More lasers, you say? Yes, I do say. More lasers, more lasers, more lasers. And, oh, look. They kind of look like um, bottles of um, some form of fizzy drink or pop or squash or vodka. Possibly vodka. <laughs> How many guns am I putting on this darn thing? I'm sorry, little thing. You're just loaded with guns. Oh god, I can even do this. Uh, what's the range on these? The range is 300. These have a range of 400. So both of them are still f fairly short range. So these ones would definitely need to be on the front. Oh no, really? Really though, guys? Really? Like, super serious? This gun's the best gun. Okay! Let's see how loads upon loads of lasers do instead. Weapon to load in. Wow, look at that. That looks bizarre. Would not want to be touched by that. I'm just basically as I a living blade at this time. Oh, I should make it look like a sword. I really should. Wait, am I missing some of my guns? Because I was all like, oh look, now we can have two... S oh, okay, it's, it's being repaired. I was going to say, I should have two kind of um, side pieces coming out at this stage. Come on. There we go. Whoa, look at that. Also, my energy just isn't being depleted at all. The bees have infinite power. We have the power to melt even rock. That looks so cool. That looks so freaking cool. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Yay! We've made two asteroids out of one. You're dead, so... <laughs> I don't know if I... Oh, I need, I, I need them on the side now as well, so I've got like a hilt coming out the side. It just has to happen. Okay, it's... Ooh, hello. Food! Come to Papa. Yum! Wow. Just melting faces. Gloriously melting faces. Come here. Come on, don't be afraid of little old la- Sorry, little old Beethrix. Beethrix is your friend. Beethrix pollinates flowers so the world may bloom. Or the universe may bloom, in that case. Okay, let's just gently... Okay, there you go. Aha! You're dead. Fantastic. Maximum resource again. 
do really need to get the factory, but I don't want to. There's so much more stuff I want. The factory is so boring in comparison. My sword must bloom ever further. We should just turn into a flower. Oh, wouldn't it be awesome? Would it actually be a decent um, tactic to have lasers facing in every direction? Because, well, they do damage missiles and such. So... At least, at least I think that they do, from what I've seen so far. Die, insect. Says the bee to the plant. Species, I don't know. Oh, no, oh, wait, I've already made you. I thought you were still um, getting ready to be captured. Oh, look how fast it goes through things. It's like a plow. What's my name? That's Mr. Plow. <laughs> oh, boy, lasers in your face. Everyone is happy now. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, Ex excuse me, Mr. Asteroid. Touch. <laughs> Look, he just touched things and they died, so... Touch. <laughs> oh, I do like it, I do like it. There we are. And swish. <laughs> oh, I'm doing better now. I am doing better right now. Still scared. Oh, no. The Terran. Return. Go away, you boring human faction. At least I think you're fact human because your name and stuff kind of hints that. But still! Must kill leader. Yes, okay. Still being killed, though, by hundreds upon thousands of drones. Well, we definitely kill drones with the laser. I haven't found out that much. Do oh, it does stop. Okay, so it definitely does damage the missile. Or does it? No, come on, let me tell. No, stop shooting missiles the, way the opposite way that I'm facing. I need to do test.
Ooh, hello. Ooh, this is a nice area to find. Hello, my fellow bees. How are you all doing? Who are you? So it's the stalk thing then that actually makes you attach to the, so the stem which actually makes you attach to asteroid. Let's test it out. Now I've got this little lump here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Ow. At least getting stuck completely will be a little bit harder since I can do that. <laughs> I'm tempted to make it able to spin, but I don't think I really want to spin it too much, honestly. Okay, there's apparently a blue damage station nearby, which is odd considering, well, our whole legion is here. There it is, hello. Hello, single core. No idea what, what it'll turn into, but right now it's just a core. There we are. I hope you turn into something beautiful. Excuse me, you're hurting my friend. And as you can see, I'm very, very shiny, which makes me the the authority in this area. Shininess equals authority. It's, it's an exact um, correlation, by the way. In case you were ever wondering in your um, spare time. Hmm. I wonder how I know this person is in authority or not. You, you, sim you simply have to ask yourself the question, are they shiny? If the answer is yes, then most likely they are indeed in authority. You can trust me. I'm a uh, microbiologist. Thus, I know these things. Okay, so one, two. Ah, uh, that laser wasn't all the way down. Oh god, everyone's probably killed me already about that. Ah, because symmetry is important and stuff. Aragal, Blorgal, Margal. I still want to make an a purposely asymmetrical design by the end of this. Must be said. More lasers means more happiness. As previously discussed. Okay, so there's another station nearby as well. Should go through that as soon as possible. Hello! I am made of lasers! You aren't, and therefore I am the superior. Yay! More lasers! Look at that now. Oh, we're, we're missing one. The, there you go, I was going to say, the front, the front lasers aren't asymmetrical. Kind of makes me think of one of those um, wicker dolls. The, um, the voodoo doll variants made out of, like, thatch and such. I don't know why, honestly. I just kind of do. Ha! <laughs> Hello! I'm shiny! Ah! My shininess! You fiends! No! Oh, I, don't, I didn't want to die this episode. Uh, well, to be fair, I don't really want to die in most episodes, but... Oh, Lord. Well, thank you for spawning me the one on the outside. Oi. Da, 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 da. So, the red faction has too much damage per second, really. So what we need to do with those is probably go for more armor-oriented builds, honestly. There we go. Although if we actually focus on them, you know, actually point in the right direction, since obviously our front is a lot more damaging than our sides. Ah, my shield's gone. Go away. All of you. Particularly you. There you go. You're, you died because you didn't listen to me. That's what happens to people who don't listen to Lathrix. Are you listening, sir and sirettes at home? <laughs> Indirect threatening of the audience. Truly a high-quality high um, Let's Player. Follow the wormhole. Let's go to a brand new world. And I'll just skip this loading. A brand new universe to brighten with our presence. For the Wicker Doll is here. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching Sir and Threats, but I'm afraid we're all out of time for today's episode. I do hope you've enjoyed, and of course, if you have, then likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Reassembly is a series you wish to see more of in the future. So thank you again for watching, have a lovely day, please do take care, and until next time, goodbye.